Hi everyone, it's Amy from Now Polish Baby 90 and welcome to today's video. I feel like this video is on not a straight angle, but I've also messed around with my camera and tripod for the last 20 minutes and I've lost the will to live. So I'm really hoping it's not that bad or it's manageable, uh, but we are here with everything that I wore in the month of October. As with every video, it's later than I'd like to have been. Uh, but let's just go through everything I wore in October before I get distracted by anything else. We'll do mainstreams first. So I did wear a few of the Sour Patch Kids with Sally Hansen collaborations. These were all Halloween themed in their names. So I wore some in October because of Halloween. So the first one is a all black straight up cream. And this one is called Ghoul's Night Out. As I said, it's a really nice simple mix. If you need a black cream, this is a good one. All of Sally Hansen in the Instagram dries tend to dry really quick, super opaque, and that's why I do love to um, grab them because they're a great price point and they always perform really well. We're being greeted by my cat, Lexi, who seems to come in and want to be in every video that I do. Now she doesn't look like she's very happy. There she is. Are you just comfy now? This is how we're gonna do the rest of the video? This could be hard. So one coat of Ghoul's Night Out by Sally Hansen. I know I said I wasn't going to rearrange the camera, but I've just tried to straighten it up a little bit more. I don't know if that's done anything. Anyway, the other one from that same range is the uh, polish called All My Gourd, um, which is a clear base with glitters to make it a glitter topper. I wore one coat of this over the black just mentioned. So it is um, matte white glitters and matte creamy yellow glitters, which Cap, colour of the cap and then there's also smaller yellow in the same colour so if it's really nice and opaque as in like very good coverage for a topper you're not spooling around or sco trying to scoop out glitters by any means really nice fun application and it was, it was a good fun colour combination of all for all year round but especially for Halloween so one coat of oh my god by Sally Hansen over the black one from Colour Clubs which is another glitter topper so this is the bend and snap came out originally in the Legally Blonde collection they did several years ago and it is a clear base with tons of large heart glitters. So they're in two shades, a pale pink and also a bright neon pink that you'll probably be able to see, plus a scattering, I want to say it's not holographic, it's a really unusual glitter where it's kind of rainbow looking but not hollow. Um, I did sit this upside down, I did have a little bit of scooping or manoeuvring of the glitter, probably because they're so heavy, but they have, so considering this is an old bottle of polish, and it sat behind me for almost a year, they didn't sink to the bottom at all, so that's a really good sign of a glitter. Um, so I've got lots of glitters on my nails, just sat it upside down before my use, so it worked out really well. So the Bend and Snap by Colour Club over Black. The last one is an Essie, and this is an Essie that was sent to me by Essie, and this is Tassel Free in the Get Gel Couture range. It really reminds me of Chinchilli from Essie, but obviously the Gel Couture version. A greyish purple that I didn't really want to wear. It was just there. I thought I need to get around to wearing this, so I did. But it was just so clean, sophisticated. I loved it. So really glad to have worn it. It was really nice and easy, opaque in two. So that's Tassel Free from Essie in the Gel Couture range. We'll move on to indies and we'll do UK indies first. The first ones I have are two from Snail Works, which is a new brand to me. Um, these were sent to me by the brand. I showed them previously in my haul. Um, they had the most fun bottles. This is how they came in these containers. Um, super fun, super unique. And all the indies will be linked down below. If you want to know more about the brand of in this specific, so there's lots of fun technological inventions for this so the cap is a specially designed cap and it's weighted for easier application so there's lots of interesting things they've also got qr codes on the back so it's a new kind of modern take on an indie brand that i really enjoyed so super saturated sky is the blue and it is as it says really really saturated really really opaque but it didn't stain my nails which is has become a problem for me more and more um over recent years my nails never used to stain i wore a base coat anyway just because i'd had some bad experiences this year but it did not stain with the base coat and i've had others that have really stained even with a base coat so one coat of super saturated sky by snail works and the green was called Plastic Jungle, a really nice vibrant green, grass green. Again, really nice and opaque in just one. They have got a rainbow collection on their website as well as some glow-in-the-dark ones and other fun things. But I just went for two of the creams for the ones that I wanted to try. So one coat of Plastic Jungle was our other one from Snail Works. Two more UK indies. We have one from Holly Mixture and this is Is My Hair Out. It came out in the UK indie box of May 2023. The theme of that box was Disney Villains. This is the Hades polish. A really nice 
like mid toned purple with a subtle blue flash it's not a super strong flash but what is really lovely in here is the flakes so there's really nice duochrome flakes that go from purple to blue i really loved that mixture in with the purple it got nice and opaque in two coats it's only my second holly mixture but both i really liked so that was two coats of is my hair out by holly mixture UK Indie is one from my one of my favourites prism polish and this is called Too Many Tears. I love this. This is pink to blue which is one of my favourite colour combinations. So it has a sparkling of like holographic um, flakes in here. It's really opaque. That shift from, from the pink to the blue is really really strong, really really glowy. I love this. I think this came out in the Halloween collection so it might still be unavailable in the website in like the discontinued. Um, section but i'm not sure too many tears two coats by prison polish we'll travel to brazil next and this one is one from um, indie by patty lopes and it's called roommates another one that i just showed in my most recent haul it is inspired by enid by wednesday the tv show i love this i bought this in my barbie era because this came out in april 2023 i bought this because i wanted the bright all the bright pinks and I love the massive flakes in here, kind of unicorn opalescent flakes that just break up that pink, but also make it look like kind of a shimmery, glassy candy. Oh, I loved it. Three coats of Roommates by Indie by Patty Lopes. And then American Indies to finish us off. So the first one is an old retired brand hair polish, and this is Sparkwood and 21. I only have about five hair polishes left to wear. I, I did get a bundle of about 35 to 40 a couple of years ago that I've been slowly working my way through. Um, so Sparkwood and 21 has been one of my favourites. I did really love this, although it was a three coat, so which more often than not with the hair polishes they are. And I'm never sure it's because they're old, because these polishes are easily... 10 to 12 years old or just because of obviously the technologies and the making of the polishes back then but I love this mid-tone bluey teal and then there is a ton of bronze tiny 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 little flakes um, one of my favorite combinations is bronze and blue so obviously that was going to be a hit for me so three coats of Sparkwood and 21 by hair polish and our final new wear for this video, I have one re-wear, and this one is by Red Eyed Lacquer, and this one is called Can't Dart This. And every month they have a Frog of the Month series, which I think is so, so fun. And this is obviously the Dart Frog polish, and I love this. It is a really nice ugly greeny lime base with really really large navy blue flakes but then there's also a bright 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 blue flash and also these kind of like alien like oh, they're really hard to explain like they don't look they look almost like you can't see them if you hold the bottle still but when you turn the bottle these beautiful like hidden bright vibrant electric blue flakes pop through i loved how this looked i love the mixture of everything three coats of can't dart this by red eyed lacquer so we'll wrap up with the one rewear for the month so i did wear a sally hansen insta dry and this was in the razzle dazzle rose which was one of the crayola polishes I need something really quick to wear. These are opaque in one coat. They dry really fast. So I slapped this on and went about whatever I needed to go through. So that is why I love this range so much. So one coat of Razzle Dazzle Pink. So that is everything that I wore in the month of October. I'm sorry that I'm still really behind where I need to be with these videos. But thank you so much for your perseverance with me. Um, I have a few videos that I'm batch filming today. So I have... Um, this one, and I'm doing a 90 lacquer video, and I'm also doing my collaborations with Pampered Polishes Now Lacquer, which will probably be in the next video that you see after this. So, um, and then I've got Zoya that's just arrived. So there'll be more videos coming in November. I'll try and be a bit better, but everything's just so busy in my life. So um, I'm still wearing nail polishes. I'm still here. But just less videos than I'd like to. So if you give me a thumbs up, subscribe, let me know what you wore in the month of October. I'm sure it was lots of Halloween polishes, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.